Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix this Iris Oyama fan. Sometimes in some area they call it a uh, Kuzu fan, but basically just different brand at the inside. The components are identical. So this fan today it doesn't respond to the start and stop when you plug in it's nothing happen it doesn't respond to the remote control or no light indicating anything so basically it is uh, faulty so we have to open it and see uh, what is the, the circuit board or what's wrong with that inside I open the cover underneath so it's not difficult you can do it by yourself and a circuit board I opened it before and I find that uh, there's some faulty on the capacitor here you see I have to do some replacement on the capacitor let me show you let's get the circuit board out now what I have done before I shoot this video is to replace this capacitor um, the first time I opened that, have a look, the capacitor was like this, this is the original one, right, is here. You can see that um, there's a burning mark on top, and the cap on top here, you see the crack, so it is opened. So obviously it has been something wrong before and may be going have to very high voltage and this capacitor is burned. It's at 2.2 mil Farad on 450 volt. My initial replacement was to put a 400 volt because uh, they just the spare capacitor have the home without buying any and the rating is 50 volts lower uh, we know that the voltage usually here is like 250 so this capacitor should be good enough to protect uh, with this voltage but I only have 4.7 mil that is about uh, uh, two times more than required that's 2.2 initially on this one so I suppose it's this is not very suitable and when I put it on it doesn't fix anything there's 2.2 .2 and 450 volt after replacing the capacitor here I turn it on no luck and then I further discovered that uh, there is a chip here it called U7 if you can see there is a burning mark there it's very badly damaged this is a MOSFET but because of the burning I can't recognize the number on it I can't see anything on it other chips you can read the motor number and um, also the part number on top of it but on this one because this is a badly burned you see the hole there so um, I cannot identify this chip so there's two components obviously uh, there's the capacitor also this MOSFET because it's a very hot temperature when it got uh, burned the, some of the uh, circuit protection is uh, being ripped off and also actually these two connections these two lines should be connected to be together on this leg of the capacitor but also it is becoming very hardly to solder uh, to rip out some of that uh, um, the protection layer on top in order to expose the um, the copper uh, solderable uh, track on it so I can solder them together on this chip I search online so there is a forum on reddit some people have this problem as well it's like a design problem I think it's very easy to get 40 like this I search online it says I probably say IRF 7A62 chip and eventually I decide to properly uh, fix this with the right um, rating of the capacitor I order the capacitor there on 
online is come to the 20 of them. So it is a 2.2 mil Fahrenheit with 400 volt. I can't for 450 online just can find this 400 but I think 50 volts lower doesn't make a make problem. Also all the two MOSFET chip IFL7862 just in case I do anything wrong I have the uh, a spare one. So uh, let's try to fix it, see if uh, I have any luck. So uh, stay tuned. If you liked my video, I'm a houseman, I try to fix something just for my hobby. If you are really interested in it or think, think this video is suitable for uh, someone else, you can subscribe it please and like it. Make some comment if you find anything similar or you have the same problem on this chip or you want to um, tell me something uh, I have missing. So please uh, watch the video to the end. I think this could be fixed. I put um, some soldering and remove that capacitor now. I just show you I did it before. And now I have to replace this chip because capacitor is very close to that. I want to replace this chip first, and then I will put a new capacitor on because there's uh, not much space on it. I search online the RF 7862 chip. The schematic is like this. You can see the number one pin on the top left is source, 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 and a gate on the right. They are basically uh, they are all drain. They are tied together, and with that, um, the symbol means that uh, this source should be like positive, and then the drain will go negative. And then um, the after the MOSFET gate comes out of the um, the gate, this uh, should be in a negative sign. So number five, six, seven, eight, they are tied together as a drain, and one, two, three is a source, and number four is the gate. Because these uh, these ships are uh, badly burned, the U seven. So we have to identify which uh, orientation he has the number one pin. So basically I see this this big channel, you tie up the last three pins and probably also tie up the this pin as well. The soldering is the, all in a mess, maybe because of that uh, very high heating, they melt together. It's one reason. The other reason maybe that uh, they are intentionally to tie this together. So if they do so, that is the number 4 to 8 pin on this side. And on my right hand side, I see the individual 1, 2, 3, 4 separately very clearly. And the um, individual resistor component. So this could be um, pin number 1, 2, 3, 4, the source gate. The source pin, sorry, the source number 1, 2, 3, and the fourth one with the gate. Um, this is just a guessing actually by the orientation of that and we are also briefly see that if you can see clearly it burn out here and there's a little uh, circle here if I make it correctly maybe number one pin here having said that the schematic tells me the source gate should be positive input so these three tie together so that maybe the source gate because um, here this one underneath you can see a um, dial the dial here so it's the flowing from top to the bottom so it's the top to the bottom and then it goes through this one this is the uh, 40 capacitor also on the other side it tells me it's a positive positive here and uh, from on the top there is two power source from the AC the this one says N is the neutral and the other one is the live and go back the live one on the left here now goes to this component and across to that to this uh, dial and then to the positive um, positive sign. So these three 
So it's maybe the source. If I choose the chip correctly, but the problem now is this one's supposed to be the gate, but now it's tied up to the top three. So maybe it happened because of the um, the burning heat. They make the solder all stick together. So what I'm going to do is to remove this chip to see the circuit underneath correctly. So if this this one is really tied up to all these three, this side is the drain. If not, this side is the um, is the source, and this one is the gate. So these four is individually separated. Okay, let's remove this one now. What I'm trying to do is put some frost on it, so then frost because my SMD station doesn't work my heat gun, so I use the traditional method to try to move this. Now after cleaning a bit the shoulder on the eight connection connectors like this is pretty clear, and now I'll apply some frost and try to uh, remove it. I put some flux on it, so let's apply the heat, see if I can remove this one, I think it's uh, not very easy, but it's worth to try. Uh, after some force, we remove this one. <clears throat> it's not very difficult, it's a part of some force. Okay, let's see if I can get some more information on this chip. Another very sufficient metaphane glass. Bear for me, there is some reflection of light, but uh, you can see the chip. It's was really burned and there's nothing much you can see. On the other side, underneath there is two white dots there, maybe some because of some melting it gets stuck on the PCB board paint and make it quite difficult to remove. But as you see underneath there is not much information as well. Uh, when we remove the chip with this schematic underneath now, you can see the, there is an art on the right. So it tells me the uh, orientation of that of this chip. It tells me the uh, the number one chip is here. Number one connector is here, and so this is a source, source, source gate, and all here the drain. And I think it makes sense as well the schematic. Circuit board here they tries to connect all four pins all together here. Next thing we have to do is to remove the excess soldering iron on here and then I apply the um, soldering paste with low tension on it and then some flux on top of it and then uh, put on the new chip. Chip should be put on like this with the number one uh, pin on the top right corner here and the all the uh, drain is underneath on the uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, which is on the circuit board to, uh, tied together. Also tell me probably this is the right chip I guess. I searched it on the Reddit. So let's try it and have a go. It's so time to clean the excess plus with the uh, cotton rub. Make it dry. So let's check the old other connector is not affected. So now what we have is the four terminals on top and four terminals here. Looks like they tie together for the drains and uh, these two holes for the capacitor. So this is uh, this connection damage because of the heat and what a done is to remove the excess uh, the top coating on it and then expose the area here so I can soldering back negative pole of the capacitor. So this is a positive pole with the four drains and also the um, 
the chip another four on the top the art is here again so the orientation is clearly known now there is a uh, two circle here I think this maybe put, have put some uh, glue on that before the solder in the factory so let's do it the next task is put the IRF7862 chip on it you may notice that uh, the art here as I mentioned quite a few times and also there is a dog here you see RA48 the right dog underneath on the left of it it means that the, this one is the number one pin so if you follow this dog and this sign you will know the orientation of the chip you won't make a mistake so let us uh, put it on I find that I'm running out of the low temperature so the pace so I use the normal one with the normal sodium iron what I'm going to do is to coat some soldering iron on it on each connection and also put some on this area two, three and four on this side doesn't matter they just a uh, they will connect together the next thing I'm going to do is put some sort of paste on it you don't have to put too much man you just have to put that is enough amount of it okay the next is to put the chip on it make sure the orientation is correct and it aligned to the all the pins you want it to be Our target is put a chipped orientation like this with the number one pin at the top right corner and solder it. I've checked that the four pin above one, two, three, four properly attached it to the circuit board the next thing is to much easier to is to connect these four pins on the lower side and apply the heat press it down a little bit make sure that it all stick together okay I think it's properly done I've checked out all the connectivity on the A pins, they're looking quite good. Now I have to connect the capacitor on this one and this one. Here's the new new board capacitor in green color and the 4 and the volt and 2.2. That's done. And the last you can cut this to excess wire on this board. This fixing is done. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoy how to be installed a new one without um, any clue. But uh, you can have the data sheet found on the internet. Also change this capacitor to make this work or not working. I don't know. Just have to tax it. If you have your own fan, you can fix it. You know, your Kozu or whatever they call this one is Iris or Yama. Hope you enjoyed this video, hope you had a nice thumbs up and subscribe it and also tell your friends to refer my channel to them if you find it very useful. Thank you, see you again next time.